Okay, so this is the what the light looks like now that I have my new um, T5 dual fixture on the aquarium. Uh, as you can see with it on top of the aquarium, this is right now without a cover. I'm probably going to have a glass cover just to help with evaporation. Um, but as you can see from the side, it's a very minimal profile. I mean, it's maybe, I don't know, two inches high. Um, there's how it looks from the front, kind of back up. So it almost kind of disappears into the aquarium unless you're right on top of it. So I like that. I like that um, that look. Um, this is with, once again, the 6700 uh, Kelvin bulb and then the Color Max uh, pink bulb. Um, so, you know, right now I don't have any plants in there. Um, but that's just what the light's going to look like. Um, it looks like the light's pretty much spread evenly throughout the entire tank, which is nice. Um, because the bulbs go, you know, from one end of the tank to the other. So, <laughs> my angelfish right now I think are a little freaked out because I've been messing with the tank so much lately. So, once again, once I get live plants, or once I get all my plants in, you know, and have them all uh, planted and tied to the driftwood and everything, I'll give you a new one. But right now, I'm, I'll admit I'm pretty happy with the light. It was only... Um, I think 50 bucks. I found it online for about 40 and then shipping was 10. So I'm not doing, you know, a complicated thing just like the my 5 gallon. I'm not using a CO2 or any highlight plant. So hopefully this setup works for me. All right. See you.